A football standout from the Bay Area found dead at a campground near Lake Oroville. It happened over the 4th of July weekend and this evening police say it's a homicide. Our crime reporter Henry Lee is live in the newsroom with the latest on the investigation. Henry. Well, Andre Tyler Dixon was found dead under circumstances that have yet to be fully explained. His loved ones want answers and are hoping for justice. This is a tragic blow to everybody. Friends and family of 20 year old Tyler Dixon of San Pablo are in shock after the football stand that was found dead at a Butte County campground, the victim of a homicide. I can't imagine someone doing this to him. At 5 a.m. Saturday, Butte County Sheriff's deputies responded to a 911 call reporting possible gunfire at the Bidwell Canyon Marina campground at Lake Oroville. They found Dixon dead in a tent. He'd been camping with another family. Sheriff's investigators have not said how he was killed, but are investigating his death as a homicide. Right now, we're in the early stages of the investigation, and one of those things we are investigating is the cause and manner of death. We'd like the investigators to do their job and, and bring whoever to justice. Will Bryant is athletic director of the Richmond Steelers Youth Football and Cheer Program. He's known Dixon since he was nine years old. Great kid, ended up being like family stayed with him, followed him through his high school career and on to college. Dixon played football at El Cerrito High and was set to do the same at Contra Costa College this year. Some people have passed or some kids got some issues. He's that kid that didn't have none, loved by everyone, many friends. The coach remembered the day Dixon came up to him and whispered that he wanted to be quarterback instead of an offensive lineman. Coach thought otherwise because Dixon was six foot three and 210 pounds. And I was like, man, you can't play quarterback, but you need to, we need you to block. But Dixon proved him wrong. When we put him in the game, he threw the ball so pretty. Like, I mean, all the way, and it, the, the rest was history. The investigation is ongoing, and anyone with information is asked to call the Butte County Sheriff's Office. Live in the newsroom, Henry Lee, KTVU, Fox 2 News. All right, Henry, thank you so much.